class is now in session. I am Professor Hockey, and today we will be doing my predictions for the third round of the NHL playoffs. On the Eastern Conference side, we have the Tampa Bay Lightning versus the New York Islanders, and on the Western Conference side, we have the Vegas Golden Knights versus the Dallas Stars. Starting on the Eastern Conference side, we have Lightning versus Islanders. My prediction for that series is a 4-2 victory for the Lightning, so a six-game series. This is bound to be a pretty interesting one. Honestly, as I say this prediction, I wouldn't be surprised to see a team like the Lightning sweep the Islanders in just four games. And yet I also wouldn't be too surprised to see the Islanders sweep the Lightning. For me, the Islanders are such a wild card, such an unpredictable team that I really don't know whether or not they're going to come out in this series and just completely dominate the Lightning as they've been doing at times to all the teams that they've played in these playoffs already. Or if the Lightning are sort of just going to run them over through this round, which is why I went sort of in the middle middle here with the six game series victory for the Lightning. The Lightning to get to this point had to go through a round robin which put them at the second seed then taking out the Columbus Blue Jackets in six games in the first round and then the President's Trophy winning Boston Bruins in five games in the second round. The Islanders had to go through the play-ins taking out the Panthers and th- uh, by a series score of three to one then the Washington Capitals in five games in the first round and finally the Flyers in seven games in the second round. The reason I have the the Lightning beating out the Islanders, however, instead of the other way around, is mostly because the Lightning have already dealt with a team that's quite similar to the Islanders, and that is, of course, the Columbus Blue Jackets in the first round. Both of these teams, the Blue Jackets and the Islanders, are very heavily defensive focused. They're a team that sort of comes together to play well as a unit more than the sum of their parts would be one way to put it. They have strong goaltending both sides. I say the Islanders are somewhat better offensively than the Blue Jackets were, which would mean that the Lightning will be given a bit more trouble in that area. But I still think that this experience of having taken them out in the first round is going to come heavily in the favor of the Lightning. I should also say that I feel as though the Boston Bruins are just a better team than the Islanders, especially when you look back at the playoffs last season where we saw the Islanders get swept by the Hurricanes, who then got swept swept by the Bruins. I would say the Bruins are better, and the fact that the Lightning took them out in five games, yes, without their starting goaltender, it makes me think that they're able to take this series. I should also say that the Islanders, while they have looked great in these playoffs, right, just multiple times, the Panthers didn't give them much of a challenge. The Flyers, I thought, were extremely disappointing throughout most of these playoffs, especially when you look at that first series as well against the Montreal Canadiens. Only the Capitals felt like a team that could really show up, but even them didn't look all that great. So, The Lightning will be a real, real test for this Islanders team, and I feel like they're just going to not pass. The Lightning will take it. On the Western Conference side, Golden Knights versus Stars, I'm saying the Golden Knights would win it in five games. I think the Golden Knights are going to make it to that Stanley Cup Finals. The path for the Golden Knights to get here was in the round robin. They managed to go perfect, getting them the first seed and earning them a date with the Chicago Blackhawks in the first round. Only took them five games to dispatch the Blackhawks. Then in the second round, they faced off against the Canucks. It ended up going the full distance, all seven games, though the Golden Knights were in control for most of it. And they managed to make it here to face the Stars. The Stars, on the other hand, didn't have as much success during the round robin getting the third seed. In the first round, they faced off against the Flames, taking it in six. And the second round, a close series with the Colorado Avalanche, but finishing them off in seven games. The reason why I have the Golden Knights versus the Stars is that the Stars had a bit of trouble there in that second round with the Avalanche. And I thought the Avalanche were a very good team, so credit to the Stars being able to knock them off. But the Avalanche were also a very shorthanded team. And so the fact that this, this, this series ended up going the distance works a bit against the Dallas Stars. It should also be mentioned the Stars offense was looking very good in that series against the Avalanche, but the Avalanche were not only shorthanded defensively without Eric Johnson, who got injured early in this series, but were also shorthanded goaltending-wise using the third-string goaltender Michael Michael Hutchinson for almost half of this series, and then their second string, their backup, Francis, for the rest of it. So only really Grubauer, their starting goaltender, really only played for the first game, and even yet, Grubauer is not even as good good as the starting goaltender for the Golden Knights, which is Robin Lehner. So the Stars offense, which was looking great during this second round, might have a lot more trouble against the Golden Knights, not only because of the goaltending on the Golden Knights side, but also because of a much stronger defense. We saw them really shut down the Canucks. Three of the four games that they actually won last series were shutouts for the Golden Knights. And so this defense looking great, this goaltending looking great. And there isn't even that much of a drop off from the Avalanche offense to the Golden Knights offense, which is why I think that they'll take it in five games. My second series in a row predicting the Stars will lose 
but I think as long as the Golden Knights will stay can stay healthy, which they have already done remarkably so throughout these playoffs, they should be able to take it. Class dismissed.